Bienvenidos, Hushamdi, and welcome to this HUD8 networking tutorial. I've got some really exciting news to announce, and that is that Cisco Networking Academy has just released Packet Tracer version 7.2.2. Now, one of the exciting things about this release is they updated not only the Linux distribution, both the Windows 32 and 64 bit distributions, but they also updated Packet Tracer for the Mac to 7.2.2. So your question is, how do I get there? How do I download it? Well, you would simply go to www.netacad.com and you can see the URL right up here at the top and that's going to bring you to the Cisco Networking Academy page. Now, if you don't have a login, you can go get a Cisco CCO ID and then log in. There's also an opportunity if you wanted to take a free packet tracer course, you could also do that as well. And to do that, you would simply come here and say packet tracer course Cisco Netacad. We'll hit enter and you can see right here, learn the basics with introduction to packet tracer course. And so here's the course right here and you can sign up. And then in this course, you would go ahead and you would download the packet tracer distribution that I'm about to download. So let's come back to the Networking Academy. I'm gonna click Login. It's gonna ask me for my email. So we'll get that put in here. We'll click Next. It should know my password, it does. Now I've gotta do the two-factor authentication. So let's pull up the Google Authenticator app and you can see the codes I've used in the past there. So we'll say 379 or 359. So we'll go ahead and verify and we'll get that added in. And now you can see we've got access. So if you're at the main page, right? Or if you were at the home page, you could go to uh, resources and you can see right here you can download Packet Tracer. So I click on Download Packet Tracer, and there it is. Version 7.2.2. We've got the Windows version, the Linux version, and yes, the Mac OS version. So let me go ahead and click Download. Now, there have been some serious improvements to the installation here. It was a little quirky with the first release for the Mac. However, I've already downloaded and installed this, and it works like a champ. So I would click on Save File. It's gonna go ahead and download that file. And you can see here that I could just click on it to open the DMG file. And there is my installer. So literally, all you have to do is double click and you'll have to enter your password in for your Mac. It'll do the installation, at which point you can get to it by going to your Finder and then go to Applications and look for Cisco Packet Tracer. Now, I've already dragged the Packet Tracer icon over here to my launch bar. So if I click on it, it's going to go ahead and open up. And we're going to validate that we do have version 7.2.2. Now, I said I had already installed it. I've also already logged in. You're going to be presented probably the first time you launch it with a password prompt. So if I come up here and say Cisco about Packet Tracer, and there it is, version 7.2.2.0418. And it is literally that simple. So this is a great tool, and I was just talking with someone looking to transition into the networking field, and I said, you know what? Let me get you started with Packet Tracer, and this is a great way to go ahead, pull together some topologies, and practice different configuration tasks. All right, well, that is it. That's all I've got. Packet Tracer version 7.2.2 is out there. There are a ton of fixes, and most importantly, I save the best for last. If you're a student and you're running Packet Tracer and you're taking the Cisco Networking Academy courses, there is no longer a Java requirement with Packet Tracer 7.2.2. That whole JRE install and runtime and the errors that you would get, it was an absolute dumpster fire. That has been solved. You no longer need to depend on Java when you've got Packet Tracer version 7.2.2. At least when I say you don't need to depend on Java, that's in the Cisco Networking Academy courses when you're taking the exams. All right, well, that is going to do it for this 
tutorial. I hope this is of benefit to you. I hope you're able to get Packet Tracer. Again, it is an amazing tool for CCNA learners looking to hone their skills. All right, as always, I really appreciate you watching. Thanks so much, and have a great day.